all in one-on-one -on -one against Sergey. This is surprising that it's come this far, considering how good the pre-plant was. Post-plant turns out all right, I suppose, with one member leave left alive. Avert his gaze and nail the shot. That's more like it from Alu. Oh, but the trade comes through. That's so good from 100 Thieves. Very efficient. That Silence M4 needs to get out of there now. Ariel looking to find two kills, and unfortunately, it's still equal trade. He might be able to get away with a couple of kills. The Silence M4s have been doing some serious work here. Double kill on the cards, nails it. Both the headshots start delivered, and it's up to Azza now. Three versus one, doing much work here. Azza might as well check it out. Oh, it does work out. Quad, when they wrap around, try and take him. Potentially, that's the thought. Surely, when you run that execution. Meanwhile, X7, though, shuts them down already on B. Alu, he'll take that information and run with it. No action on A. Has to be a fake. Has to be ready, and he is. He'll take down Jacob immediately, and JKS left all alone. He's got the... We get to work with timed out. So unfortunately for him, he needs to stay alive. Does I'm surprised they didn't hunt him there and try and take the money away. Hopefully the rifles can bring up the rear and find the headshots required. Sonny backed off the angle because of the flash. Came back out. Like shot makes better on the second as he takes down Gratisfaction Bomb temporarily oh. dropped. Faster still. They've got to make a call. Gap down in the smoke from CT wide open toward Banana. Sonny was ready for that rotation. Gets the first shot as a collecting on the first Krieg, but then dropped immediately after Jacob's left alone. Finds one oh. second as well. I don't think he's got time for the bomb, however. Takes the shot at the wall, but actually did clip Leas. Took him down to 49. Looked like he came out with some as well, but it was a flash instead, so he's fine. You could see just for a moment as well that Jacob was inside of the apartment, so they haven't fully put all their eggs in one basket. That's the issue with that setup. Well, he wants it, though. Trying to grab the weapon. As he sits right in front of the smoke here, looking to find the initial damage. Can't do it. Nine seconds remaining. Alu can still save the round here. He's start nailing shots. The second one has to connect. Not going to happen. Five seconds. Is the bomb being planted? Yes, it oh, is. it was. Okay. I thought it was actually the player over to yeah, Orange. Me that too. Had it. He was still <laughs> moving, so that threw me off. But yes, bomb does go down. But Alu has rotated off. And it's, he's got this wrong potentially. So before players coming in, there'll be a kill with the UMP here. But like I said, the time just so low. They, they've made this too difficult. Can't even plant the bomb now. Round over. Nine, six, a half. And 100 Thieves, a little bit scrappy towards the end there, but you have to say, ends did what they could. Towards B, Jacob leading the way, but Liaz will find the first kill. That's from second middle. Sonny waiting for the push down. Banana actually does well, all things considered. Glock to fight against what was going to be three. Oh, dear. Ooh, not bad at all. Okay, yes. Just left the fight against Ariel. That P250 hasn't worked in the same fashion that it did. Or JKS. They won both pistols on Inferno yesterday against Astralis as well, so. That's true. It's a good point. At the start of this round, you can see them exchanging flashbangs. Molotovs don't like that move from Jacob. Had to run through the flames, cost him half his health to begin with, then. JKS waits with the smoke in hand. Beside him is Azza. Four remaining. Two, three remaining. I was going to say the other two, obviously, therefore, over toward A, but Gratisfaction no longer with us. Dearly departed. He has go back away. He's got to make a decision soon. He thought about it. Now he can hear them. Goes back out with the M4. Finds one. Knows a second is trying to shoulder. If he can bait him out. But the more time that that takes, the better positioned Ariel becomes as he walks out on the balcony behind him. Sonny will take the bomb to the sights and looking to go up to a seventh round at least. Bring this within four. Yeah, shouldn't be a world where they give this one up, to be honest with you. Do it now. Do it now. That's Do it. Go! Oh, not as much as you'd like, but still does decent amount. Oh. And here comes Jacob mowing them down there. Great work. Four versus two. Alu gets boosted up to see above the smoke bombs down inside of the site. Azza spots that immediately. Eyes of a hawk. JKS. Talons of a hawk. <laughs> All the hawks. <laughs> no smoke down to prohibit him from doing so. He'll be able to call out JKS back toward the coffins. That's exactly what he does. Flash for his teammate. Jacob was able to capitalize on it, finds a second as well, now smokes himself into a dark, very lonely, desolate corner as he goes down. Gratisfaction, only good for one. Sergei's able to remove him down to a one-on-two bomb, is out of his hands though, and with seven seconds, the round might be out of his grasp, as I make sure of it. Oh. Internet, racetrack, yeah, definitely choose the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, I'll stop, I digress. Lee is, oh, okay, fair enough. Jumped forward, sometimes that catches you out, but he manages to make oh, it work, spots the shoulder, but he's fully blinded. No chance in a month of Sundays that he would find the kill in that situation. Completely pinched in from both sides. Jacob's gonna have the same result because they've wrapped around behind oh. him, but JKS nearly comes back and capitalizes. Alu's left in a one-on-one, -on -one. 56 HP. He will at least get the bomb down. Gratisfaction just to note, 
AWP and no kits? He might want to grab a gun on the way by, but we'll see. He's known to be a little bit stubborn with the AWP at times, maybe for good reason, as it was a promising angle, but he didn't look toward it. Alu clutches it back and ends get their eighth. Make our way to the arena tomorrow. And up they go towards Quad, with conviction as well. Liaz might be in trouble here. And I think he goes down, somehow gets that first one. Fancy footwear to drop down as well and survive. Gratis faction there to back things up. Oh, it's confusing now with all those smokes down. It's going to be difficult to try and stay alive here. Big kills on the bomb site available for Azza. He delivers with the USP. It's a five versus two now. Sergey down to 15, but he will get at least one kill here. The MP9 struggling, Ooh. but it is still a three versus one. Alu at this point in time. And there it is, Azza to get the kill. Not looking good, friends, now, but enough to win this round. Who will strike first? A flash going to be decent, Ooh. and the shot doesn't connect. Gratisfaction surely doesn't get away from this one. It will be Liazzo to back him up. They're doing so well, working in tandem in all these difficult spots. As I pushes wow. the smoke, that's a done round, maybe a done game. Matt. That was a sick combo. Yeah, I, you said it. Gratisfaction does his best to get away. He got away with 81, and they were moth to a flame. Lee is yeah. standing there, but he still pushes round. That's that's brave. I, I'm not sure why he would do that by himself. More grenade damage here. One by one they go. I think they might have given up a little bit at this point. One by one, Matt. Not the best way to approach this. That's another option. Might not be as successful, but you never know. Alu takes down JKS. So at least something going their way. I mean, that's a small silver lining consolation. Detailed moot point, really, because Ariel's gone. Gratisfaction with the kill. First map done and done indeed. 100 Thieves. It's not even about secret at that point. It's about overwhelming anyone that's going to be toward heaven. Sonny's already up above the air conditioner, but not aware that Az is down below inside of the lockers. He finds two. No one able to respond. Sonny, his task is done. But the problem being that he's stuck upstairs. Everyone knows where he is. Ooh. And they've got the bomb down at ramp as well. He will be detected, but still gratisfaction. It's another solo play from Enz, and you're throwing away these jewels and actually losing most of them every single time. That's three one-on-one -on -one jewels now. No trade potential at all. Yeah, I, I think it's it's a... How do I sum this up correctly? They're overthinking and overanalyzing it, and no one seems to want to be the one to make the mistake. They're all looking to each other to step up, and as a result, they're just not working together at all. It wasn't right. even around. It, and now Jake, I'm looking to spray them down. He doesn't necessarily have to make this full commitment, and down he'll go. Punish for it. And now is an actual chance for Ents to steal this round away. Impossible, but a kill does come back through. It's going to be gratisfaction. A little bit of help from X7 there, but Jake is rotating down towards lower. He's got the FAMAS, and he could be in trouble here. They've got plenty of firepower towards lower. Flashbang, though, will be deployed, and the bomb's down. That's going to buy some time to the rotations, and JKS makes good of it. Two versus two, make it one. Lovely shot from Gratisfaction. He's looking fantastic right now. Speaking of which, it's Sergey with the one deke. One minute remaining. Has to recover the bomb, so he has a disadvantage in more ways than one here. Needs a one deke to close things out. Not going to happen. A slight chance there. $400, so fancies the utility instead. But this is where 100 Thieves could start getting a bit too aggressive here. Doesn't seem to be a problem again. Alu will have to try and pick that's another solo, but he's out there by himself, but this is looking much better. There it is, the pounce comes through. They've got an advantage now. Jacob down to 4 HP, but JKS, still over 100. Molotov surely takes Jacob out of this one, which it will, but he got a kill before he goes dropped. Alu 1 versus 1 against JKS, who is the clutch master of 100 Thieves here. Gets himself at the vent, he knows exactly where Alu will be after that bomb gets planted. The jump up comes through, Alu has the advantage for now. Not in terms of the HP, flashbang is decent though, JKS will have to Avert his gaze for a second, the wall bank comes through, it's successful, down to 30 points of health now, and again they win it. The CTs make a mistake at this point, that, that's about all I can really consider, because they can't really cross over, they're flashing each other, they've lost the first couple of picks, but they do get one in response. Next 7 to it, they're ready and waiting, okay, an opening now, 3 versus 3, Sunny. Should be one of their strongest assets in these sort of situations. He's got the AK-47 looking towards the heaven position. Good angle. Can he find the shots? Him, he might even get a chance to at this point. Down to 44 points of health. Liaz gunning towards him. Nice shot, but a wall bang comes in from Grad, of course. That's his run executions. Upper plays. And this might be one of them. Here we go. An equal trade for now, Ali. Sunny will get the first, but Liaz coming in, striking with that M4. He has been absolutely dangerous with the weapon. Main entrance, not a bad position to be in. That smoke's going to dissolve. He'll have vision of anyone that wants to rotate down, and I don't think they know he's here. I think he gets one at least in this situation. Yeah, at least in this situation. He gets all three, in fact. It's more like And it. Ents will get their first round. Surely they can't allow JKS back into this. Bomb's halfway through its life. JKS going to play an off uh -oh. angle, <laughs> and I don't know how that happens. I never That's have That's a flash assist luck. from them. Yeah, really. <laughs> Thanks very much. I want to get a cheeky reload in soon. 
up the ladder they go. Alice is like, you know, what boys are going up here? Yeah, well, they're going down there, I think, as well. Think, well, probably cancel that one. Back them all. <laughs> what? Why? Why would he go back up? I, I I'm flabbergasted at that one. You get Ding down to 10 HP and you just go, you know what? Have the kill. Take it. At least go down. Sonny's looking far too stubborn. He's over, he's overcomplicating things. I mean, why, you had ramp room. You could have done something with that. Instead, you push through. You go one at a time up the ladder, wrap around. Throw in the towel. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not a fan. Oh, it's it's hurting my brain thinking about it. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. I, I, that that makes no sense to me. It's not like a jiggle peek. You're on a ladder, bro. Can't shoot. They got another extinguished smoke outside. Massive gap. Gratisfaction. He will take advantage. And even still, there's some feet that will show, which means he'll get damage on his Sergei. I would have thought that might have even been a kill at that point in time. Has it already down low? He is looking at players that are low on HP, but they do converge on to his position. Gratisfaction inside of the vents. Corridor to fire up with the AWP. Well, 40 seconds remaining. Three players down and lower. Problem is, right above them. It's gonna be a JKS. He's got the Krieg in hand, and he's pretty handy with that weapon, let me tell you. Unless they can flash him off, they're in a lot of trouble here. They're trying to move his position. And Alu now left in a one versus one. Needs to recover the bomb, however. 20 seconds remaining, we'll do just that. Goes for the AK-47 instead. He's got Liaz to deal with here. And right now, Liaz making his way down the vents. So, advantage, I would say, for Alu, depending on where he repositions here. Currently sat behind the bomb site silo. Is the door open to his left? It's not. Oh, well, wasn't that exciting in the end, I'm afraid? That was not. Very underwhelming. Uh, I think this entire game has been 11 to 1 for 100 Thieves. Extremely sharp. Alu's going to continue around outside, so they want to take the yard entirely for the Ents. Yep, this time. Finally, they're going to get a peek outside. JKS. Does Alu spot it? He's just on the edge of the scope. He's still alive and kicking with 100 HP, and he has been a thorn in almost every team's side here, but it looks like they've done enough here. 100 Thieves will have to give in at this stage, and Gratisfaction tries to take a pop shot from the vents there. Would have been pretty remarkable if he hit it, but down he goes. And can he make it successful once again? It's the exact same play they presented before. I like it. Yeah, nice shot from X7. The snap observ observation really caught me off, I won't lie. <laughs> waiting on the angle for a headshot. Just behind Sergei to trade. He watches the opposing side. They can each swing for the other. So that's more like it. That's a trade setup. More of yes. that, please. 11-4. Makes his way towards heaven very quickly indeed. Are they going to fly up the ladder here? I think they might do. And it's going to be a oh. quick couple of kills for the CTs for now. Azza will bring one back. But it's still now good territory. 400 Thieves. Not for long. I thought it. Alu was just going to spank them. Clap them. But it, unfortunately not. He Missed some shots, and he goes down. It may not matter in the end. Doesn't at all. And it's Ariel to defend now. Damage being exchanged, and it will be Ariel to take the brunt of it. Dropping an AG towards Seeker potentially here, but it's the first kill for Jacob. He'll find Ariel. He's done for. He's done. Seven. With the kill. He yeah, absolutely done for. And bomb to go down. Lee is the one to plant it. Kassad. Are they saving? Yeah, I think they are. But X7, he'll be on the actual bomb side ramp itself. Decent position, but he has to be wary of the decon door. And Alo's here, gonna nail that first shot, no problem. Audible noise of the door opening down below on both sides, for that matter. And meanwhile, the bomb is just biding its time. But X7 is going to go down. That's gonna give them the time to get in. Alu forced off the angle. I thought the positioning looked so good. And yet, one missed shot. Okay, I was going to say it falls apart. Recovered. Leas needs to do the same. He completely surrounded. Might get both nades out and handy swings. And JKS capitalizes on Sonny. It falls <laughs> apart so fast. EG side, I should say. Yeah. First couple of kills come through. It's an equal exchange. OX7 normally found towards that lower bomb site. He's removed, and now they know exactly where Sonny is positioned. He'll have to flash through and hope for the best. There's a smoke down, though. Can't do much with it. Sergey with him. I should say I'm getting ahead of myself, because it is FaZe versus CG. And the form that FaZe has been on lately, that could still go their way. Vitality is who would play the winner of this game. On the other side, Leas takes down Sergey. JKS tags up Alu. He's on nine, but they still have the man advantage, and that is all important. At this point in the round, 40 seconds to play with. 
Bomb not yet planted, and JKS takes a significant amount of damage in his attempt to slide across the door and do so. He's put himself in a position where Leas can support, but he's preoccupied. No one can be able to capitalize inside of the site immediately, but Bomb not planted. JKS better hope for an absolute miracle. Makes his way towards Zap up. If he gets it down, that's still something. It looks like he will get the plant in at least. Might as well stick it, but they got a chance to hunt him down here. Oh, not again. quite. Let me do yeah. the math. Really 12 to 8, potentially 12 9 after this round. So, yeah, it may have seemed like a decent spread of rounds between them, but significant in fact. Not going to get much done this time either. Leah's the one left alive. 5 HP. Get a little to work with. And 5 HP. He still manages a kill. Okay, where's the trade? Not going to come in. Got a bit fortunate on the timings there. 5 HP. Unlikely he can win this one, but there is a chance. So you can see what well, the outside smoke, yeah, you're right. It's a blocked division of the Orper outside. They're going for a fast play towards main entrance. Hasn't worked out for them, though. Should be X7 closing things out the UMP. Spots him. Doesn't land the bullet just yet. A little bit unfortunate. Does he swing once more? Time will tell. Alu has a rifle as well. Must know that he's low. Oh, the preemptive shots. And now he actually get the bomb down towards lower. Oh, this could actually get a little bit spicy. Drops the smoke. Nice open plant. So he's got the money. He still might win this, you know. There is a chance. It's a oh, oh my god! No! Five HP in a one on four! That's not allowed. That's ridiculous. Right, let's take a deep breath. Let's compose ourselves. Accept in the trade potential for Alu only amounts to one. Good recovery, good read and react by 100 Thieves to check the corner. Three on three. And they look to go lower, but then decide elsewise. This is smart, too, because rather than all trying, as we saw Ents do in the first half, to go toward the ladder, they will split. They'll go back toward one player, toward the lobby, so they can take the site from both sides. And no one's upstairs to shut them down. It's Sergei immediately underneath firing early on the MP9. That's not going to help him. Leas looks directly onto his head and fires into it with a Krieg. It's only 16 kills for Leas, I want to point out. Eight of which, nine of which, look, I, I, I don't even remember how many at this point. I, I've been in massive clutch situations. Yeah, you are right there, map. Let's see whether they can pull this one off. Could be the last round here. It looks to be the case, and my goodness, it closes out with an absolute banger there. Liaz with the clutch from hell.